Hello and welcome to today's Nairobi News Bulletin. My name is Modoni Mushiri. Now, our top story today is the Ugandan police spokesman, Felix Kawesi, was shot and killed this morning. We now go to NTV's Uganda, Joel Senyonyi, for more on this story. Uh, well, what happened, is, uh, according to eyewitnesses, there was a border border which had a rider and a notch band uh, who engaged the most at the shooting and the people. And uh, those are the people uh, who executed the mission. And as I talk now, uh, we are making some leads in that direction. Leads in that direction. Um, talking of leads, Afande, I, I was engaging uh, a media and Kaima Ali, and I was saying, you see, the challenge there normally is at times when there is a shooting like this of a high-profile person, police promises investigations, and uh, many a time we don't know what happens. These investigations fall through the roof if you if you like we we don't get to hear of what happened who could have caused the killing and there's many examples that we can cite no just know we are doing something because yeah. we cannot see mm. we are doing something and uh, i believe uh, our team uh, will have a breakthrough and a section of Kikuyu Council of Elders from Kiambu County have pledged to support the re-election of Dr. Evans Kidero as Nairobi governor. The, el the elders led Captain Waweru Mbugwa while addressing journalists at City Hall on Friday said that they would marshal support for Dr. Kidero's bid for a second term as the head of the city county by rallying Kiambu natives residing in re and registered to vote in Nairobi to vote for the governor in the upcoming August polls. And a woman who was escorting her child to school was injured after she was shot during a robbery in an m -Pesa shop at Uthiriru Estate in Nairobi on Friday morning. The woman was shot after one of the robbers was hit with a stone on his shoulder, provoking him to open fire. The bullet, however, missed the target and hit the woman in the stomach, and she was rushed to Amat Medical Center in the nearby Mountain View Estate. And police are looking for a woman who allegedly strangled her one-year-old child in a macabre attack in Riara, Kisi South sub-county. The 23-year-old woman is said to have dumped the body in a sugarcane plantation near the Rihanna River before fleeing the scene. She has since gone underground and her brother said the woman had recently divorced with her husband and was suffering from depression. Nairobi Senator Mike Sonko has alleged a boardroom plot to lock him out of the city's gubernatorial race moments after he received his Certificate of Good Conduct from the Directors of Criminal Investigations. Sonko, who has submitted his nomination papers to Jubilee earlier today, uh, also posted copies of his school documents to refute claims that he did not have a KCSC certificate. And finally, a university student allegedly committed suicide inside a police cell after he was found with bang, police have said. Pol uh, Nairobi County Police Commander Jafet Kome said the man, Tony Munguti, a student at the Cooperative University of Kenya, was arrested for creating disturbance and after a search, he was found in possession of bang. He was locked up at the Hardy Police Station in Karen, where he committed suicide using his sweater. And that's it for us for now. For these and more stories, log on to www.nairobinews.co.ke. I'm Modoni Mushiri. Have a great weekend.